You can move this cord anywhere up and down the neck and... Hey everybody, Johnny Stewart coming to you from John's Guitar Lounge. Hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to show you how to play a minor bar chord. And then in my next video I'm going to show you another way to play a minor bar chord. For the first minor bar chord shape that I'm going to show you, we're going to play a G minor chord and that's going to be right here at the third fret, making a bar at the third fret. And we're going to use three of our fingers. We're going to use our index finger to make that bar. We're not going to use our middle finger at all, so just forget about your middle finger for now. Then we're going to use our ring finger and our pinky finger. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make that bar just like we would for any other type of bar chord. And you can watch my other videos on bar chords for tips on how to make a good bar with that index finger if it's hard for you to do, which it's hard for everybody at first. But then we're gonna take our ring finger and we're gonna put that on our A string on the fifth fret. And then we're gonna take our pinky finger and we're gonna put that on the next string over on the same fret, still on the fifth fret, and that's gonna be on the D string. And this is what it's gonna sound like. Now notice a couple different things about this chord. This is a G minor chord, but you can move this chord anywhere up and down the neck and it will still be that same chord shape. You'll just be changing which chord you're playing. What I mean by that is if you move this whole chord shape, just move your hand up two frets and so that your index finger is barring across the fifth fret and these two fingers are now on the seventh fret on the A string and the D string respectively, now you've got an A minor chord. And I've got another video showing the regular shape of an A minor chord that you can watch, which I'll link here too, but this is another way to play an A minor chord using a bar chord. If you move it up one more fret, then that's an A sharp minor or B flat minor. You move it up one more, that's a B minor. Then up one more is a C minor at the eighth fret with that bar on the 8th fret, etc, etc. So that works all the way up and down the neck. And a good way to think about it is, whatever note your index finger, your bar, is playing on your two E strings, that is going to be the chord that you're playing when it comes to this chord shape. So that's a G minor, then that's a G flat or F sharp minor, then an F minor, and then look at this. Now we're down here on the E minor. And you can also play that like this. But so notice what I just did. To play an E minor, now I'm not making a bar at all. And that's because you've got the nut of the guitar up here at the headstock where the strings go through. And what we do when we make a bar chord is we're basically pretending that our finger is the nut. We're barring across there. So that's why we can move it right up the neck and we can play that E minor chord shape anywhere up the neck using these fingers and this bar. So if you want to look at it this way, that is an E minor chord shape. And we're just moving that E minor chord shape up, and now we've got a G minor. Then we've got an A minor, and an A flat minor, etc. So another way you can think about how to play a minor bar chord in this position is play a major bar chord in this position. And for that, you'll be adding your middle finger on your G string. In this case, for a G major chord, it'll be on your fourth fret. And I've got a whole video on how to play G chords and how to play major bar chords. So I will link that here so you can see that to get more tips on that. But if you already know how to play a major bar chord, just like that, and this happens to be a G major chord using the bar, then just take that middle finger off and then you've got the minor. And that's because your middle finger is playing what's called the third in the note. What I mean by that is you've got the root, then the second, then the third. And if you want to play a minor chord, the minor chord has the flat third. A major chord has the regular third. And some people have been asking me if I give private individual lessons. I do private individual lessons on Zoom and on FaceTime and stuff like that. So if you want more information on private individualized lessons where I can work with you one on one, then let me know. Just comment below and let me know that and we can get in touch and I'll give you more info on that. Now, if you enjoyed this video and if you found it useful, then please hit that like button because that really makes a huge difference to tell YouTube to push it out to other people so that they can see it and learn from it too. Subscribe to my channel, comment below and tell me what else you want to see. And I will see you next time right here in John's Guitar Lounge. Take care.